Welcome to this new video tutorial from Urbest Instruments. We will explain how to assemble one of our most common balancing machines. We are going to proceed as follows. First, we will talk about the content and parts of the package and how we will identify each one of the pieces for the assembly. In our second point we will talk about the bench leveling. The third point will be the placement of the pedestals, brakes, and how to adjust the transmission. Our fourth point will be the transmission installation and important details to consider. Later we will continue with the installation of the axial supports. And we will finish with cleaning and lubrication considerations. One. The bench is the base of our balancing machine for all the elements. 2. Pedestals The pedestals include the soft bearing supports for precise balancing. 3. Brakes They allow to fix the pedestals in the desired position. 4. Steering wheels or screws With the steering wheels we will adjust the brakes for the final position of the pedestals. 5. Axial supports the axial supports will be installed on one side of the pedestals to limit axial displacement on rotors. 6. Transmission adjuster, this piece as its name indicates, will allow us to adjust the height and tension of the transmission set fixing it to the bench frame. 7. Motor, the motor is already placed on the transmission and will later be powered by the speed driver. 8. Pulleys, the pulleys fit along the transmission guides manually to adjust the belt position on the rotor. 9. Transmission The transmission is the frame that unites both the motor and the pulleys. 10. Speed driver The speed driver is the device used to regulate the rotation speed as well as the spin direction. 11. Belt The belt is the element that goes around the motor, the pulleys, and the rotor to be balanced. 12. Allen wrench this Allen wrench allows to adjust the transmission pulleys. In this case we will level the bench frame with wooden shims. It is important to consider that this leveling method works for surfaces that do not have too many imperfections. Even though our bench is heavy, it does not require so much personnel or special tools. Once the leveling shims are in place, it is important to check that our bench is leveled. Another way to level the bed is using the screws on the bottom. The bench is prepared with screws and bolts. This is another way to level our bench on more uneven surfaces. Now we will place the first pedestal. It does not matter with which one of the two you start with. To do this, first we must place one of the brakes inside the bench. Now, with the help of our staff, it is important that the pedestal receives the brake on the bottom holes and then place it on the bench. Once the pedestal is in position, we adjust the brake inserting the washers and placing the steering wheels. We adjust them slightly without tightening now, so we can slide the pedestal later. Next, we will remove the transmission adjuster to be able to insert it into the rail leaving the adjustment flap to the outside. Once the adjustment parts are assembled, 
we proceed to place the entire transmission in position. To do so, we load from the eyelet of the motor and we hold the other end. Finally, we put the transmission on the other side of the adjuster, and we screw the knob. It is important that the half moon supports at the bottom of the transmission are placed on the round tube, so it can slide on it. At the same time, it will allow to adjust the height with the transmission adjuster. Now we will place the second pedestal just like we mounted the first one. We adjust the brake and release it to be able to move our pedestal later. At the top of the pedestals we have the swings or floating system on which we will place the bearings. It is important to position the bearing with the machine face of the axle down. The axial supports have two tubes and an assembly fitting. First, we will place the simple tube on the support that is on the upper side of the pedestal. Once placed, we tighten the support with an Allen key. Now, we place the 90 degrees assembly fitting together with the tube that has the bearing on the tip pointing in the direction of the floating system and we tighten it. To finish the installation, we must clean the bench guides and remove any residue, dust, or dirt. Then we lubricate with oil to better slide our elements. Among our additional accessories, we have the negative load supports that can be installed on the floating system. This accessory allows us to secure the element to balance. The wheeled cabinet is also one of our optional accessories that allows us to have a more formal connection to our drive. It has a power button, a speed regulator, a button to activate normal or reverse rotation and an emergency button. In addition, on the sides it has removable shelves that allow us to grow our work area to place our interface, accessories, and balancing tools. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Do not forget to follow us on our social networks and subscribe to receive notifications of new material. If you have any questions, require information, or want to purchase one of our equipment, do not hesitate to contact us. Until next time.